Hi guys, welcome to Stack Reframe. So in the previous classes, we have seen all about HTML, isn't it? We have uh, 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 seen eight classes of HTML and I think I have discussed all the important tags that are necessary for you to create a web page, isn't it? If you go to this playlist here, if you check, uh, just a minute. If you check here, we have uploaded, I have uploaded eight videos, isn't it? And all these are the important and basic concept that is necessary for you to know to create a beautiful web page now. Now it is a time for us to move ahead and learn CSS now because uh, with the help of CSS only, we are going to design our web page, isn't it? So let us just go to the VS code here. And I will start a new file that is called, let's say, introduction to CSS, isn't it? .html file I'm creating. I'll just write the basic structure here and I'll write here introduction to CSS, isn't it? Now, what CSS means to you? What is CSS? So as in the previous uh, video, in the first video, I have already discussed that what CSS does. So let me just repeat it again. CSS stands for cascading style sheet. Okay. And this is a mark -like markup language and it is responsible for how your web page will look like. Okay. And it controls the colors, fonts and designs of the layout, designs and the layout of your web page. Okay. So this is how the simple logic is that with the help of HTML, you are going to create the basic structure of your web page, but with the help of CSS, you are going to style it. That is what you should know the basic meaning of CSS. Okay. Now the important thing is that by how many ways you can use CSS, you can uh, use CSS in your web page. Okay. So I'll write here by how many ways we can write CSS. So if you ask me, there are three ways by which you can write your CSS in your web page, okay? The first one is inline CSS, inline CSS. The second one is internal CSS, okay? And the third one is external CSS. Okay, by this three ways, we are we can write our CSS into our web page. Okay, so we are going to learn all these three, and I will also tell you what is the difference between all these three and what is the best way of writing CSS in our web page. Okay, so uh, for a time being, we'll just uh, use this inline CSS so that you should know what exactly it is, and after that, we'll cover this internal CSS and external CSS. So that this that is how we'll see the difference of using inline internal and external. Okay, now just uh, I'll just give you a basic uh, uh, what to say. Basic I'll give you a basic definition of inline CSS. So just understand here how inline CSS work. We already know that CSS by the help of CSS we are going to style our web page we can we can style the elements we can style the content that we have written in our web page now let us take one example here what i will do i'll just a basic very basic example i'll just start with a p tag okay and i'll write here same thing welcome to stack reframe isn't it i'm just writing a uh, uh, one line, one sentence. Okay. Now, if you just load this, just see how our web page is looking now. It is very, it is looking very simple, isn't it? Just a plain text that is coming. Now, instead of that, what I will do, I'll just copy this content. Okay. And let me just write here in a H1 tag just to make you understand here yeah. okay now just see it is coming bold now this is way we can style isn't it but what if we want to change the color here 
what if we want to make this particular welcome to stack sentence in the center what if we want to make the font more bigger isn't it what if we want to use some background color in, in that so all this styling that we want to do we will do it by using css okay that is clear for you now the second thing is that which which css we can write here there are three css we have seen we can write inline css also internal css also and external css also now i will tell you the difference of course but for the time being let us use inline here okay so just see for example i have to make this particular if you see in the web page this is coming black in color what i will do i will make this as a red color okay so how to make this red color so inline css i am writing okay so inline css means if you are writing the css property in the same line where you have written the content that is called inline css it's very simple if you are writing in h1 tag here the content is here if you are giving a css here this is called inline css if you are writing css property here that is that will be called inline css here now let us see here i will just give a space here in the h1 tag and i will write style this is the style here by which you can make we can use css here okay by the style attribute here now see if you click here it is giving style is equal to colon now here you can pass all the css property that you need to do in this particular statement okay let us see if i want to change the color i will write style is equal to inside this colon i will write color just follow me guys color is equal to any color let's say if i want to red i will write red here just very simple just go to the web page and see now it is coming red in color isn't it so the, we have used inline css here you see style is equal to color now if i want to make a different color for this what we can do again style and color if you hit enter here the vs code will give you all the necessary thing if i want yellow here i will write yellow now just go and see it is coming yellow in color isn't it but this is not showing because we have used yellow color let me just give any other color so that it is visible what i will do i will use blue color so that it is visible now you just see it is coming welcome to stack reframe in red color because we have passed here in h1 tag in line css where we have passed css property color colon red that is why red is coming and in the p tag we have again passed the in line css and we have written style is equal to called color is this blue that is why blue color is coming okay this is how we use in line css okay now if you ask me what is internal what we do is i will just remove this line here okay what we do is in the internal css we write inside the head okay that is why it is called internal css it is it, we are not writing in the same line that is why it is not in line but we are writing in the same page and we are writing inside this same page head in, in the head section that is why it is called internal css now there are many ways of writing internal css for that you need to learn selectors because we here we are not writing in the same line isn't it we need some sort of uh, selectors to select the particular element isn't it so i will discuss in the next uh, coming classes i will discuss uh, all about the selectors and similarly in the external also will use selector only okay so just for uh, the time being i am just giving one one example of internal css now let us see as i have already said internal css will be written inside the head of the same page okay for that what you have to do is you have to write here a style here style tag you will open here and you will hit enter and inside this you have to write all the css property here now you will ask me sir how can i target let's say if i want to target this particular p tag and i have to give a blue color now currently it is black in color isn't it now 
to use inline CSS, what we have to do? We have to target this tag, isn't it? This particular element using tag selector here. I will tell you there are many selectors by which you can select an element and use the CSS property. So that is why uh, for the time being, I, I will be using inline CSS, but after a uh, few classes, I will start the selectors so that we will we'll use internal CSS. Okay. For the time being, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm selecting a tag that is called P. Okay. And I'm opening a braces here, curly braces. Now, this is called tag selector. You don't worry. I will just cover a complete uh, video of selector. Okay. You will not get any problem. For the time being, you understand, we are using internal CSS and we are selecting, targeting this P tag. That is why I have written tag P and open a curly braces. Now, if I inside this curly braces, if I pass color is equal to uh, blue, this is called internal CSS. Now you go back and see, now it is coming blue in color. We are not writing in the same line. That is why it is not in line. We are writing in the same page inside the head section. That is why it is called internal CSS. Okay. Now, coming back, I'll just comment this line. Okay. Now, again, it is coming black in color, default color. Now, I will just explain you this external CSS also today. But don't worry, I will we'll talk about all this uh, uh, CSS in detail, okay, in the coming videos. So how to, what external CSS means that you have to uh, make an external file whose uh, .css file you have to make and you have to link this file to your page. That is called external CSS. As in the previous, in the starting of the uh, uh, this uh, session in starting of the course in the first day one video or day two video I have already told you how to make a folder structure isn't it and here you see if I have I have already made a CSS folder okay so inside this you have to make a new file and you have to make right uh, let's say style is the name of the file and you have to give extension dot CSS Previously, we were writing .html because we were, we were creating a HTML file. But now we are, since we are creating an external CSS, so that is why the extension is .css, okay? Now, if you hit enter, now your external CSS file is open now, okay? Now, what you need to do is, for using external CSS, you have to link this particular CSS file to your main page here. Okay, now how to link inside the head section only you have to link. You will just remove this style because it is we are going to use internal CSS and you will write here L I N K link. If you click here, you will already you will get a whole uh, statement here. Okay, so here link R E L is equal to style sheet and here href 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 stands for hyper reference, isn't it? And inside this you have to pass the source of the path of the external sheet that we have created here. So how we can do that? We can write here dot slash. We'll go back to the main folder here and inside this we'll click the CSS file. And inside that we'll click dot style.css. Now this is the path that we have given in the href. Now this particular CSS file is linked to our main page, isn't it? Now, if I write here, same thing, if I just write here P tag and again open the braces and if I write here color is equal to blue. Okay, now you see, is it working or not? Yes, it is working, isn't it? Because our external CSS file has been linked to our main file using this syntax, link rel is equal to style sheet, href is equal to, and here between the quotes, you have to pass the path where you have created here the external sheet. And inside, after that, you have to write all the CSS thing here. But I know that you are, uh, you can, you must be confused about this. What is this P and curly braces? This is 
called selector. We will see there are many types of selectors like class selector, ID selector, attribute selector, descendant selector, group selector. There are many sort of selectors that we need to know to use internal and external CSS. Okay. So in the coming classes, we will discuss all about selectors. So don't you worry. Now, but for the time being, we are going to use inline CSS so that you should know what is how what is the pain point of using inline CSS and why we generally consider internal CSS or external CSS. Okay. So let me tell you guys here that the most preferred way of writing the CSS is external CSS because we are creating a separate CSS folder here, file here, and whatever the CSS uh, property that we are going to write, we will write in the external sheet here and we will link this to the page so that if any problem happens to our page, the CSS property is going to be fine. Okay. So the most considered, the most beautiful way of writing CSS is external CSS. Okay. And after that, it is internal and the least is inline CSS because it creates some problem when you are working on a big project. It will somehow make your code very uh, clumsy and it will it will be difficult for you to means uh, make your uh, page, uh, the code that you are writing, it will be difficult for you to uh, make you uh, good, okay? That is why we use external and inter mostly external CSS and if not, then internal CSS. But for the time being, we are going to use inline CSS so that you should know the pain point, okay? So this is, was all about what is CSS and how, by how many ways we can use, uh, we can write CSS. There are three ways, inline, internal, external, okay? So I hope by this video, you are clear about this inline, internal, and external. So in the next class, we'll see the all the CSS properties by which we can style the web page, okay? So till then, take care, guys. And if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel also and uh, hit the like button also, okay? And, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye, guys.